Welcome to the Bluebeam Review Tutorial by Brighter Graphics. In this series of measurements, tips, and tricks, we will see how to use volume measurement in Bluebeam Review 21. Let's see how you can do so. After opening Bluebeam Review on your desktop, go to the File menu and open the PDF drawing for which you want to use volume measurement. Next, go to the Measurements panel in the panel bar, which is aligned at the left of your workspace in the default profile settings. Before using measurements, click here to calibrate the scale of your drawing. To see how, watch our separate video on calibration in Bluebeam Review 21. Now various measurement tools are available at the top of the measurements panel. From here, select volume measurement with cube icon. Now close the measurements panel, go to the specific drawing region to calculate its volume and simply click and drag to make a rectangular selection or you can click and release to mark individual anchor points for non-rectangular regions or shapes. Use the Select tool in the navigation bar below and click on your measurement label while holding a Shift key to adjust it if it overlaps with your PDF content. But why is the volume showing zero magnitude? The reason is that we marked this measurement on a 2D drawing with height and width. Volume is a 3D quantity that also considers the depth as the third dimension which is not present in this drawing, and the volume is using its default value as zero. So what should we do now? To resolve this, go back to the measurements panel and in the depth field below, you will see its value is set to zero, although it's already calculating its area in 2D. But it gives zero volume as volume is a product of area and depth. Change it from zero to the desired value. For instance, let's put it five feet. Here you can see it starts showing volume as 5,000 cubic feet. This means the area was already calculated as 1,000 square feet. So as a product of area and depth, which is five feet, the volume here is 5,000 cubic feet. So we used volume measurement with depth as a simple mathematics. Let's explore the markups list with other columns to see the behavior of volume measurement in more detail. Go to the markups list dropdown and enable columns for width length, height, and area. And here we go. Next, adjust the columns by clicking and dragging them to the desired position in the markups list. Now you can easily notice that the length, which is the perimeter of your selected region, is 140 feet, which is the sum of twice the height and twice the width of our rectangular region. Similarly, the area is 1,000 square feet, which is the product of a width of 50 feet and a height of 20 feet. Meanwhile, the volume of 5,000 cubic feet is calculated as the product of area and depth that we manually gave as 5 cubic feet. So it's 1,000 multiplied by 5 and measured 5,000 cubic feet. Isn't it interesting? The volume measurement performs all these calculations for you automatically. For more Bluebeam tips and tricks, stay connected with Brighter Graphics Digitizing Construction since 2003.